we go through storms in life and that's just an inevitable part of dunya that's part of the reality of this life allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us وَلَنَبْلُوَنَّكُمْ بِشَيْءٍ مِنَ الْخَوْفِ وَالْجُوعِ وَنَقْصٍ مِنَ الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَنْفُسِ وَالثَّمَرَاتِ وَبَشِّرِ الصَّابِرِينَ So Allah is telling us, He's, He's confirming that verily, indeed, definitely you will be tested of something of fear, that anxiety and fear are going to be one of the tests in this life. We are going to have to feel afraid sometimes. Hunger. Yes, there's going to be times when you're not going to have what you need or you're going to want more than you can actually get. Hunger, not just in food, but in anything where you need more than you can actually get. And loss in wealth, in lo- loss in, in the people in our lives, and then loss in the fruits of our toil. So, you know, I don't typically speak to an audience full of farmers, right? So, does that mean this ayah doesn't apply to us? Thamarat. Naqasin min al-amwali wal-anfusi wa thamarat. Yeah, we may not be farmers. We may not go and toil the land and till the land and, and plant the seeds. And, but have you ever in your life put in effort and not seen results? Has that ever happened? Have you ever studied really hard for an exam and you didn't do very well? Or tried really hard in a relationship and it still didn't work out? Or maybe tried very, very hard to please someone and just didn't work, couldn't please them? These kinds of things. Have we ever put in effort and not seen results? And the answer is yes. This is one of the tests that Allah tells us that we're going to have loss in this life and we're going to have some amount of loss as part of the tests of this life. Loss of wealth, loss of people, and loss of the fruits of our toil. Results. We're not always going to see the results that we want, even when we put in a lot of effort. And then after saying all of that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَبَشِّرُ الصَّابِرِينَ He says, give glad tidings to those who have sabr. Now this word sabr has been very misunderstood. And I think this concept has even been abused in some cases. For example, a lot of people believe that sabr means do nothing. A lot of people believe that sabr means to be passive. A lot of people believe that sabr is to turn the other cheek when you're being mistreated or when you're being abused or when you're seeing mistreatment or when you're seeing abuse. But the reality is that's not what sabr means. And in fact, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His Messenger teach us that we're not supposed to be passive. Islam is not a passive religion. Islam is an active religion. Islam is a religion about taking action. Sabr is not a passive concept. Sabr is also to, be pers- to persevere. It's to be, to be persistent and to persevere. It requires sabr to be able to fast, to be able to get up and pray fajr on time every single day. These are active words. It requires sabr to fight against injustice. It requires sabr to have hope even in impossible situations and to continue to work and to continue to try. That requires a lot of sabr and a lot of hope. 